Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the main account and we are finally gonna do our little bit more of our campaign push. Hopefully we can do well, but look at that right off the bat with a summon. We got Mahira, we got Thorin, and we got Cecilia. Very, very nice. Cannot believe that should add a one star to Mahira at this point. Then we do have a couple more rare stones there. So let's go ahead. We'll get into the summons here. We have quite a bit over the last couple weeks, 15,000 diamonds, looking for Graveborn. So looking for copies of Daemon and looking for copies of Theowin so we can actually get her a little bit higher, which our first elite right there, it is copy of Theowin. Very nice. Trying to get her a little bit higher while the heroic ship is still here so we can continue to focus on her. Um, we're not spending any money on her on this account just because overall I think her utility is a little bit low. But there she is. We could do a couple summons here, but I'm still really looking for Damon. We could do a couple more summons for Damon. But I think overall, we're going to go ahead and save those now. Because I do need both of them, I, I think I'm just going to go with the regular summons here. Because not only that, is with the regular summons, we want to get some emblems for the teams that I'm looking to build. So here, there we do have Mahira. We have another copy of Cecilia as well as Thorin, so we'll add another star here to Thorin, as you can see, bringing him to three stars. So we are continuing with finishing off heroes, essentially. And we're starting to get a lot more food out of here. So I'm thinking the desired summons are gonna be required a lot more. There we go, we got Damon to Legendary Plus. We do already have a lot of food between all the factions. Taking him to Mythic. Then we'll go ahead and use our other one, taking him to Mythic Plus. Not sure at this point if we're going to build Torn um, either, but we could definitely do some desired summons within the next week for him. Mahira will take to one star. Taylene is almost at two stars at this point. Once they hit Ascended, we have just stopped um, summoning for them. So the Stargazer has actually been focused on Orthos right now, is who we've been looking at to build. As you can see, we almost have Athalia and Wukong built to Ascended as well. So this account is doing absolutely phenomenal when it comes to the heroes overall. So we do have a couple more summons. I'm really on the fence with desired summons or just regular, I'm thinking just regular summons because we can save those. We have another two weeks, a little over two weeks uh, to accumulate diamonds and go with those summons. I, I wanna see if we can pull one or two just regular copies out of here, which would be exceptional. So this is our third one, this is our Elite Summon, which there is a copy of Kazard. Look at that. Our second copy of Kazard. Very, very lucky. We've never done any specific summons for him. No Stargazers for him. We're just building him out of natural summons at this point, which we've gotten only two copies through everything since he's been released. Only those two, which there is another copy. It is a copy of Oscar. Very nice. He's another hero that a lot of people have put in endgame formations. Haven't had much luck using him um, overall. I built him on my Light Bear account, and now we're kind of building him here. Graveborn, which is Nara. Nara is already at five stars in this account, so not much use for her here. But there is Oscar adding another copy, so that will actually take Oscar up to Ascended as well, since we finally got our very last copy. So as you can see, we have a ton of fodder here for the light bearers, um, just waiting for more heroes, essentially. And here, I believe, Kazard, that's it. We only have two. That's only two that we have ever seen for Kazard. So we're at 226 million overall power, 31-60. This is where we were stuck. So here we are a little bit later in the week. Um, I want to do just a quick couple summons. Use our rare stones here before we do our push. It's actually trying to um, get a couple more copies of heroes, see what we could pull out of here. Um, been really busy. That's why we haven't done the campaign push yet. But here's our second summons, which a double elite. Look at that copy of Drez Anverg. Double Maulers with that pull. Very nice. We have one companion summons. Then we will get into the campaign push. So the account is all ready to go through 31-60. Hoping that we can go ahead and finish out this stage. Built my formation, got it all set with the heroes that I'm looking for. Even though it's a little unique, which you'll see. 
Um, so first formation, we're doing the lockout team, which is very easy. Second formation, I'm actually going to go with Gorvo. Gorvo and Lorzen, um, as well as Nakaruru. The Arthur formation, we're going to go with Arthur and Hendrick. So looking at this, the lockout team, Mahira, Mass, Mesmerize everyone so they actually attack themselves. Bringing the survivability to the rest of the team. You have Rowan here, who is... Stunning everyone, not only bringing energy, but providing a crowd control aspect there. Twins went down pretty early, but Aziz overall with the nerf to the burning ground and how much damage mitigation he does. Very easy to win that battle there. Second battle, this is my Gorvo team. And the reason is right there. Iran pulled the heroes in. Gorvo stunned every single hero that Iran pulled in. Lorzen linked the front hero with the back hero, Nakaruru, as our finisher. Super perfect. Right here, Hendrik just pushed Lucius to the very back line, allowing Gwen to catch everyone on fire in that back line, as you can see. There is the rain of arrows just destroying the back line. Arthur is a super, super strong face tank. You also do have Pharrell in there that was getting the aura, Gwen that was getting the aura, absolutely destroyed this to finish out chapter 31 at this point let's go ahead and look at the damage here so right there mahira and Taylene doing a majority 45 million 36 million damage ton of healing from rowan as well as Taylene there 51 million damage from iran absolutely crazy 30 million from nakaruru hero that i absolutely love nakaruru so powerful corvo's there for shields and stuns in the final team 50 million damage from Gwen being behind Arthur with the aura just absolutely destroys teams while you do have Hendrick providing crowd control as well as Pharrell providing crowd control. I do have to figure out a way that Rose will follow Gwen instead of Rose following Arthur um, just because Arthur is way way more powerful than Gwen is right now. I do have to get her furniture. I do have to go ahead and complete her signature item. This is the team that I run reg regular stages with, which is Arthur up front. We have Rowan and Gwen behind Arthur. Just for the simple fact, Rowan can alt way faster because of his regular attacks with the energy regen. Gwen, I actually want to um, catch the bottom on fire. And I also love that up top we have Taylene, which is doing absolutely phenomenal, as well as Aziz. Aziz's Feeble Mind will actually stack heroes together, which is what we want to do. Making sure that we can take these heroes down. There's a stun, again, from Rowan. Even though we got Gwen banished, majority of this. So looking at this team comp is you have two real main damage dealers. Taylene, of course, super powerful healing, super powerful when it comes to damage. And then you do have Gwen, which even banished 52 million damage there with the continuous damage. And that's the other big difference between her and Belinda. So when you look at her as continuous damage, when she launches the flame arrow, she catches everyone on fire. Even if she gets banished, the flame arrow will continue to do damage, um, where essentially with Belinda, she does not. So there she just got banished again, even though Brutus is still on fire. There's the immunity shield. Rain of Fire, which is awesome. Hoping to get Brutus' shield down. Meanwhile, you have Taylene and you have Aziz in the top, which are just providing, essentially holding the heroes. So as you can see there, we have all three heroes all stacked up. Soon as the flaming arrow goes into that giant pile up, everyone is caught on fire, allowing the continuous damage to do exactly what it is meant to do. Continuous damage through the entire battle to multiple enemies. 66 and a half million damage there, 27 million there from Arthur. Arthur not only is a phenomenal tank, he does a considerable amount of damage as you've seen right there. Flaming Arrow right off the bat, Ira's on fire and you have Arden on fire, but look at the positioning right in the middle. We are catching all kinds of heroes on fire. Ogi is stacked right on top of um, Arden. So they're just sitting right in the middle of everyone. So as the flaming arrows come through, they're catching everyone on fire. On top of that is when Arthur is ulting, um, because he does have Excalibur up, he hits multiple targets, providing that he does a lot more damage because of that. 
looking here, 53 million, 22 million from Arthur, 26 from Taylene. So again, Arthur being a tank, a lot of damage he's bringing. So here we have an Eron, and then it looks like we have a Nomura combo and another Nomura combo. So kind of similar, except one has Lucius, one has Entendre. So we're gonna stick with the same teams that we had. Go with the Gorvo stun here on the second team. Third is going to be, of course, Pharrell and Gwen with Arthur. I'm gonna put Gwen right in the middle so she can actually catch that whole back line on fire. Looks like Brutus just got mesmerized. The twins almost went down. You see the enemy Tassie is right behind the twins. Taylene with the clutch heal to keep them alive. And here starts the super cycle. So once the twins alt the first time, the haste is enough to cycle them through to the next, essentially alt that they do. And the cycle just continues until the battle is done, which is absolutely phenomenal. That, that is why this lockout team is so effective. Not only Aziz locking out the alts, we have the Mesmerize from Mahira. We do have the stuns from Rowan. Taylene doing a majority of the damage here because she attacks super, super fast with the haste that she's provided. So we win this battle pretty easy. Second team, again, watch Eron Gorvo pulls him in. Boom, there's the stun. Four of the five heroes just got stunned. In addition, Gorvo does shield himself as well as Lorzen linking the front to the back, but Lorzen also provides a shield. And here, look at him. One, two, three, four heroes on fire from Gwen. Absolutely destroying the back line with flaming arrows. Even through the shield, did a ton of damage. Arthur breaking right down the shield. Pharrell with the energy disintegration and damage. Perfect, perfect. Hendrick doing absolutely what he needs to do. So let's look at the damage here on the teams. 51 million damage, 36 from Mahira. But overall, Taylene breaking the healing meters there. 45 million, 26 and 22. Nakaruru still doing a ton of damage on this one. And then finally, 46 and 29 million from Pharrell. Them, both that combination, the Pharrell, Arthur being behind, or Pharrell, Gwen being behind Arthur, supercharges both of their damage. Absolute insane, the amount of damage that they're putting out. So here we're gonna stick with our regular team, which of course, there we go, we got Savius. Move Savius right to the middle with Feeble Mind. Boom, everyone, look at the stack in the middle. Not only can Arthur AoE right through that stack, just like that, took down all three heroes together with a single error, arrow and with Arthur ulting, killed that entire combination of heroes there. We have Aziz up top with his um, attack rating nerf, which is perfect. They can literally just sit there until we get the battle done, which is exactly what they did. Let's go ahead and look at the damage on this one. 78 million damage. Being able to hit multiple targets with continuous damage with a flame arrow. So that brings us to 32-6. Let's go ahead and swap Gwen up to the top. That way we can take out Nemitsu. Nemitsu, if he gets the totems up, very, very difficult as a distraction to deal with. As you can see, Gwen, our main DPS, is unfortunately banished there. But Entendre is on fire now, which is good. There's the rain of arrows. We did have a perfect stun there from Rowan, right in the middle. Looks like Arthur is helping Gwen in the back to take these targets down. There's the rain again, which that should take down Eron. That should take down Tassie, which we just have to wait out Brutus' shield, which he's never going to get through Arthur at this point. Perfect stun to win the victory there. Let's go ahead and look at the stats on this one. Look at the healing, 48 million damage healed from Taylene, 30 million from Rowan. Absolutely crazy, especially Rowan does have his three set bonus at this point, um, making a big, big difference when it comes to this healing. Again, left Arthur up top, we have Rowan right in the middle, perfectly stacked. Look at all of the heroes. We have three of the five heroes in this battle, all on fire right in the middle of the battlefield. There's the energy nerf, or excuse me, the um, attack nerf right in the middle. Trying to take down Cirrus here, which we got him down. Worry about Entendre now. Feeble Mind is up. And there is the burning ground that Aziz does. Such a powerful, powerful hero. If you're looking in the Challenger store, definitely pick up Aziz. He is 
super powerful. And remember, he is a support class, which is a little bit different. So 50 million damage there, but 30 million healing from Taylene, bringing us to 32-8. Another triple stage here for our bosses. Gonna stick with the same team. Absolutely loving Corvo. He is doing absolutely phenomenal. Um, stunning essentially four heroes every time we start the battle. Here we have Gwen right in the middle so we can catch all these heroes right on fire. Taylene died super quick in that one, but that's okay. She went to the back line, pulling some of the heroes back. There, once the twins alt, that starts the haste rotation. Mesmerize there from Mahira. Second haste rotation there from the twins. 15 seconds in, they've already alted twice at this point. There we go. We got stuns up. We have Mahira just absolutely dishing out damage as well as Taylene. Perfect to win that stage. Here we go with Gorvo. Boom, pulled him in. Everyone stunned. Stunned. Gorvo stunned all five heroes at that point, which is absolutely crazy. So Lores and Link, the front heroes in the back again, stunned all five heroes with Gorvo. Gorvo, super underestimated. And look at the back line here. One, two, three, four heroes on fire before Gwen goes down. Crazy. It looks like Hendrik actually hopped up front to take care of Pharrell or hopped in the back to take care of Pharrell with his um, ultimate ability, or his um, shield ability, because Pharrell would have actually died on that one. There's the stun, which we stunned both of our heroes there. Just going to take a little while to work through the amount of damage. And again, in this team comp, Rose follows Arthur. Definitely need to figure out how to make this work for Rose to follow Gwen. But overall, Arthur does enough damage to go ahead and make a difference. 55 million damage there, 40 million healing from Taylene, 31 million shielding. Crazy, crazy, crazy the hero. Uh, 30 million, 38 million, so 30 million from Nakaruru, 38 from Iran. And our final team, which of course is the Gwen Pharrell combo, 22 million, 30 million, 22, 25. So absolutely doing an insane amount of damage between that entire team. Very, very cool to see. So that will do it. We are on 32-8. We'll go ahead here and we will collect up our loot. We did finish out 31-60, which we'll use the cards before we conclude the video, but making a lot more progression. It takes a lot more to make progression at this stage. So let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look at our team here. We are definitely making a lot more progression and the team is actually getting built. As you can see, we have Rowan. Gear is still not there. Don't have his plus 30, or excuse me, his um, three set bonus at this point, but we are definitely close. One more piece. Um, we have Rose, which is fully decked out with gear, only a plus 21 signature item. We do have Gwen, which is plus 26. As you can see, her gear here uh, still need a little better gear as well as Hendrik, only have a plus 11 signature item on him, and also none of his uh, mythic furniture as well. So unfortunately, still kind of working on him for the Light Bear team overall. On the Mauler team, we don't use anyone. Unfortunately, this is a team comp that most people don't use Maulers. If people use Maulers, it might be Sophia, but usually there is none. On the Wilders, Iran is our primary focus, plus 25 signature item. Need to get him up a little bit higher as plus 30 is very, very important. As well as we are running Leica, plus 19, need a plus 20. Plus 20 gives her a very, very big armor boost to the um, her attack ratio overall. Lorzen, as you can see here, gear is really slacking on him, a plus 10 signature item, as well as Gorvo, absolutely love Gorvo. He is wearing the gear that I usually put on Soros, plus 10 signature item on him as well. If I had these heroes with a lot higher signature items, I feel like they could really, really be super strong, especially with the abilities, not only signature items, but furniture bonuses as well. Pharrell, we do have his three piece furniture bonus. He is fully geared out plus 27 signature item. As you can see, the problem with my main account is I spread my signature, or excuse me, I spread my emblems way, way too thin among all of the heroes that I've been using. I could have a couple more heroes at a plus 20 and have a lot more heroes at a plus 30, but most of them are mid 25s, as you can see. So we definitely need to get a lot more chests out of this event so we can go ahead and finish up the couple heroes that we have in that same exact predicament. 
Here we do have a plus 32 on Taylene. The reason originally I took her to plus 32 was making her strong enough so Rose would follow Taylene way back in the day before Soros when Taylene was released. Took the signature item, again, a little bit higher just to make sure that Rose followed Taylene instead of following other heroes like Rowan. Um, also with the twins, twins we have them completely geared out, plus 20 signature item, which is good for them right now. We'll focus on a plus 30 in the future for them. Here we also do have Mahira, which is at a plus 30 signature item. Still looking for her very last piece of gear so we can go ahead and complete this set. And then we have a plus 27 for Aziz. I was trying to get him to a plus 30. Again, spread the emblems too thin. So the biggest mistake on this account is spreading out the red emblems um, across the heroes. We could have a lot more heroes at plus 30 signature items. And then we do have Nakaruru which just got to a plus 30 signature item. I have all of her gear. She is absolutely destroying, especially with her, um, with her furniture. Her furniture is very, very powerful, which allows her ability to be used three times per battle, which is very, very cool. So overall, the team is not really the strongest due to signature items and a little bit of a lack of furniture, but overall, absolutely love the progression that we're making in the campaign. Just need to button up and clean up a few things, especially with the signature items, getting a lot more heroes to plus 30 signature items at this point, which the event is helping with overall. So let's go ahead. We'll use our couple cards that we got, which we did get the two faction cards. So we're still going to look for Theowin. I know we can do a couple summons for her next time, but we're looking for Damon or we're looking for Theowin are kind of the two, which we get a copy of Odin. Very, very nice energy disintegration as well as the displacement very strong here on our second one is a second copy of Oden. So very nice. So that'll go ahead and add a star on there. We did pick up some gems as well. So we'll do one quick summon still waiting. We got a couple more days on Theowin kind of on the fence because I don't think I'm going to have enough to get her up to ascended um, to get that cool looking avatar and nothing out of that summon. So that'll conclude it for our video tonight. Made a lot of progression in Chapter 32, very, very cool. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, thank you for watching.